back, 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 back. Chicken here. Bring you another Boom Beach episode. Uh, so today, guys, we're going to be. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do a couple. Uh, I guess I'm going to do a cryo RZM attack first, and then we're going to be uh, taking on Dr. Terror with some warriors. And I'm going to be treating this as the warm-up to uh, Warrior Mania that is coming. Uh, I, think, I think I saw it in the news thing. Yeah, it's right here. So Warrior Mania coming soon. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, we're going to get... Uh, the power powder is on the rise. I'm going to be boosting later, unfortunately, because, um, uh, just because the, uh, I want to be able to double up for the boost, and, uh, I think, yeah, it, the next operation doesn't start for a, a few hours, so, uh, we'll take a look at the chat. Okay, and, um, we'll see if we got some, uh, some cool attacks here. Uh, sick kid, we've already shown him. Uh, it wasn't a solo on low points. No real good attacks just yet. We got some really crazy, uh, crazy looking uh, operation bases. Um, but we'll get into that uh, in another video. Uh, for now, we're going to be focusing on. Uh, was this an Alzuka? Ooh, cool. Let's look at that one. Um, we're going to be focusing on a couple of player bases. I might show a couple of replays too of uh, some other player bases I um, I took down earlier today. With the uh, rifle cryo zuka medic, um, so interesting landing here. Uh, he didn't need to to group them up like that, really, because I've got everything like right on the beach, right? Um, so my base is pretty easy for uh, for zukas because uh, you can kind of just sit them right in the in the rocket launcher, no fire zone, and uh, also like obviously I don't have any ice, so I mean it's going to be. Uh, pretty easy to just shoot through. He actually did get hit by both the shock launchers, which was pretty, uh, uh, I wasn't expecting that. I assumed he was going to shock the, the shock launchers first. Ooh, nice. We got a few of them, though, eh, guys? Did those not count as Zookas that I killed? Or I guess I did get, like, six diamonds from it, right? So, so yeah, I killed 85 of them. That's awesome. Uh, shout out to the shock launcher on that one, guys. So anyways, we're going to be uh, diving into this, and then we're going to be diving up some warriors for uh, Dr. Terrence. So um, let me know in the comments what uh, what style of RZM you, uh, you're currently running. I'm kind of playing around with it for... Uh, with, I'm just, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of playing around with it a bit still. Um, I know I said previously that uh, four boats of rifles was the best. And it kind of is, but uh, I'm exper experimenting with the Cryoneers right now, and they seem to be really good. Like, uh, I seem to be losing less troops uh, using them. So uh, I think they they are a little better because, I mean, uh, I think I've said this before, but I, because I have so much GB, I'm able to take down most of the uh, really dangerous splash damage things like rocket launchers, and I can usually get uh, keep the shock launchers off them for the most part. So it really comes down to a lot of single shot stuff, and like obviously mortars and flamethrowers, machine guns, and that too. But um, I find the Cryoneers slowing down like the cannons, uh, sniper towers, um, and uh, like all the single shot stuff. It like really makes a big difference in terms of. Uh, I'm gonna have to save my. Uh, I'm gonna have to save my shocks for the hot pot. I just wasted those two artillery. Uh, we're gonna throw a shock on that now, so it doesn't fire. Uh, we definitely don't want that, guys. Um, so I'm not really too, too worried about everything else. Um, they, the Kriners also help on the uh, the mortars and stuff because they're not going to fire as rapidly. Like, they're they're pretty uh, relatively slow-moving uh, as they are. So it, it definitely helps with that a little bit, too. I think we're going to be able to get a, a couple... Uh, no, I, I wasn't exactly sure how close he had his stuff to the HQ there. But uh, we're going to be throwing down some critters over here because I think that'll be out of range of the flamethrower. And yeah, that's basically going to wrap it up. I am going to flare back um, just because I don't need to be standing in front of the machine gun and everything. And then I'm going to be flaring onto the HQ. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw a med kit down uh, right about here just to try to keep those medics alive. Nothing else that is reaching the... Uh, the main kill squad is going to be affected. Oh, sorry guys. Um, yeah. Okay, that went away, I guess. Um, so yeah, that goes down. 
And now, again, apologize for not doing the earlier stages before the video. Um, I didn't really have time today, but uh, we're going to be diving on in to Dr. Terror. Bark, 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 bark. And uh, we'll see what he has in store for us today, guys. And also, uh, I am viewing this as a bit of a training session for this weekend because I'm assuming it's going to be, aside from operations, obviously it's going to be just like nothing but warriors and it's going to be glorious. I can't wait. I can't wait. With all the diamonds I have right now, too, I should be able to get some like really good attacks in. So I'm definitely excited for that. And hopefully you guys are, too. Um, let me know in the comments um, if there's any specific base that you struggle with with warriors that uh, maybe I could uh, uh, like go over how to take down. Um, I consider myself relatively good with them. Um, again, probably shouldn't have said that right before starting this raid, but uh, that's okay. So I'm not going to need, I don't really need to smoke here, uh, aside from the shock launcher, but uh, we should be able to run past that. And yeah, we're going to be blasting on up here. Okay, we're going to throw another, yeah, I didn't, I didn't need to throw that down. Uh, okay, so we're throwing a, we're throwing a health kit, and we're going to be uh, clearing on up. It's interesting now, the, the doctor, the doctor here, um, his, his statues, like one, one is boosted and one isn't. It's just kind of, uh, neat to see, I guess. It didn't used to be like that, that's definitely new with the, with the update, the way they, uh, like, just the way they look when they're boosted and whatever. But anyways, anyways, guys, Warrior Mania is upon us, nearly. Okay, so we're going to be stage four. I probably could have done that last stage with just GBE, or I could, definitely could have done it, and probably this one, with just critters, but um, it just takes too long. I'd rather do it this way, it's more fun. And like we said, we're looking at we're looking at this as uh, somewhat of a of a practice session, uh, getting ready for this weekend. So yeah, um, as far as the new task force goes, I am uh, I am liking it so far. Uh, obviously, the only thing uh, that I don't like right now is just the operation time, because it's it's not perfect for me. But I mean, they said they're trying to get it back an hour or two, so. Uh, We'll see. I'll stick it out for like a week or whatever and uh, just see how it goes. And if it's if they can't change it or don't want to or whatever, then uh, then we'll look to uh, spread our wings and uh, and fly away. So stage five. So now is where it starts to get interesting. Now is where it starts to get interesting. Uh, I'm also curious to know if... Uh, if you guys do clear terror every single time, I know it's not, uh, we were talking about this in the task force the other day. Um, it's, I know it's not like as hard as it used to be because it used to be like, um, you'd get to about, uh, like stage five and six would actually be like a pretty good increase in difficulty. Right. But it's like, it's not like that anymore. I'm assuming most people who, uh, who watch my videos that are like above level 55 or whatever do take uh, consistently take terror down so i'd be interested to you uh to hear about that so let me know in the hashtag chicken comments bark, bark, bark. okay all right so we're blasting on down blasting down and boom so yeah i'm really liking the uh my statue lineup right now, it just seems like really good for both operations and, uh, and player bases and all the event stuff too. Honestly, it's like, it's great for, uh, for war factory because that's mainly Zookas and, uh, it's really good for, for terror, which is more or less usually, uh, it's usually warriors. Okay. So how are we going to, how are we going to dive at this one here, guys? Um, I think I'm going to go with the middle sniper tower. I did clear both of those uh, boom mines, which is what I was going for there. You don't have to clear all the mines with warriors. I made that. I was uh, kind of making that mistake a bit when I, if you've seen my um, my warrior episode in the True Bloatout series, uh, I was really concerned about getting all the mines away, and I think that's honestly just from running Zookas too much and um, just not being used to warriors. Like if um, you can run over like seven or eight mines with warriors, and then you can just cancel all that out with one. Uh, with one med kit, which is obviously way more efficient on your GBE than like throwing a ton of, uh, I threw that too early, than throwing a ton of, um, 
uh, barrages and artilleries down or whatever. Back, 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 back. So stage six goes down pretty easily. This is the tropical terrace, so uh, it's not going to be the hardest, hardest thing in the world. Uh, we are going to have to be reloading. And um, one crystal, one crystal. Okay, well, we'll take it, guys. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get crystal-wise. Um, yeah, the, the warriors are so cheap on diamonds. I'm, like, super excited to see uh, what exactly the uh, the difference rate is. Like, what is it going to be for all of them? Like, 15, like, 20 maybe? Um, I think for Zookas it was, what, like, 24 for all of them? And uh, warriors start, I know it's 96. So uh, that's definitely going to be interesting to see how that works out. Uh, I don't see anything on the right side, so I think I can actually save a few smokes. Uh, I'm going to put a barrage down here just to uh, get rid of that boom mine and a couple of the other mines, I guess, too. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be smoking here and here. And hopefully those last two boats don't get touched up too much. My plan here is, guys, I'm going to be uh, kind of going on a bit of a freelance uh, run. Hopefully we can keep them somewhat grouped up. And then I'm going to be going over to the sniper tower. And I'm going to be smoking like that. And then I think we can... Uh, I kind of screwed myself up there. Um, yeah, so probably won't take this down, unfortunately. I think I wasted too many uh, too many smokes. I, I probably would have been better just going straight at it. Um, okay, so... Oh, no, I just wasted my critters, too. Yeah, so this isn't going to work, guys. But, um, I don't know, just uh, trying to be a little hashtag chicken creative. Wait, wait a sec. Are we going to do this with one shock? Oh, my God. Dr. Terrence, that's just embarrassing. Jesus. I even threw the critters, like, down by accident. That's bad, 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 bad. Um, but, yeah, it worked. Whoa, 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 whoa. Double crystal? And a terrible raid that ended up, okay, I'll, I don't know what this Boom Beach magic going on right now is, but uh, I'll certainly, certainly be taking that. Uh, let's see if we can get a cool replay from, uh, oh yeah, uh, so this was the one I just did. Uh, we'll show this one. Uh, I'm not sure if we have any like heavy ice bases. Uh, this guy's Chinese, so he probably had more ice than the other guy. Um, oh, turns out he did not, wow. Um... So yeah, this is going to be more or less the same as all my RZM raids. Uh, take it down the rockets. Uh, if I have extra GBE, throw it on either the shock blaster or the shock launcher. Um, I also... Um, what do you guys think of the, the new Doom Cannon? Like, I know I, I've, I've talked about it a lot before, but um, I'm not sure what the community's opinion of it is really. Like, I assume most people don't like it. Like, I mean, look, like for RZM, like it's not... like Like I said yesterday, like it's not that big of a... A difference because I can just get onto the HQ so quickly and take it down like it's like sure it kills a few more riflemen but I mean it can absolutely decimate an operation attack now which is like a way bigger deal than just like oh it like kills a few more rifles or it kills a few more zookas or whatever um yeah I just uh I don't think it was necessary was this the one we just did guys what's uh what's going on here well, it looks like the exact same base, does it not? Did I hit Rodriguez? We, Voldemort is what we wanted, Voldemort. Whoops. Uh, so no ice, so not the most exciting raid. Um, but yeah, again, uh, rinse, repeat. Uh, as far as my cryo uh attacks go, just uh, <clears throat> working on the, the rocket launchers. That was a nice one. Um, because I was able to get uh, a bunch of free GBE right there. And uh, obviously this guy doesn't have much ice, so... I probably would have been better off using um, Scorcher Tank on this base, because he doesn't have a Doom Cannon, and um, he doesn't have any ice either, so I probably could have gotten away with uh, with not losing any troops. And uh, you'll see the hot pot there. It's within shocking range of his Shock Launcher too, so make sure you don't do that, guys, because... Uh, when it comes to shock priority, obviously the hot pot is number one now, but um, the shock launchers are probably going to be number two because most people don't have enough GBE to take those down and like all the rocket launchers or whatever else uh, as far as RZM attacks go. So make sure you don't put your hot pot within a uh, shock range of your other like major defenses. But um, anyways, I think I'm going to be loading up some Zookas to practice for the operation we got coming up. And um, 
the next video I'll cover more of the specifically of the operation and uh, the chickens attacks and uh, some cool attacks. We are doing uh, dead end, so there's some really cool bases that I'm excited to show you guys as well. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. Let me know what you think about Warrior Mania down in the comments, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, 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 back.